Hey everybody! Hi! Part two now. We're just outside the gun-shaped police station right behind us. Yep, so we're and day one still part two. two. Yep, because we're doing this over like about five-ish days, five and a half days maybe if we can stretch it. Uh, so yeah, so we're going to show this little area here, drive on a part of the old Route 66 that's covered in grass, and uh, get this day, so we'll get the rest of this day going. <laughs> so uh, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, we appreciate it, and we'll keep it up as many vlogs as we can. And sorry about the wind noise, but let's hit the road, the mother road. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. There's a sign here about the motor police. We're cruising down 66 and saw this. It's like an old police building here. And look at this right here. And then next to it is the original Route 66. So the road that you travel on right now is right there next to it, right here, where that car is. And this is the old road right here. The grass growing up and everything. That's pretty cool. And then right over here, police station, there's looks like possibly another part of the road right there. That's cool. Windy out here. Here we are on a portion of the original Route 66. There's grass in the road, bumpy road. Uh, it is all just pieces. This is really neat to, to see the road. And it looks like there's a little spot here. And you kind of turn here back towards the police station. Rolf Road! <laughs> that's that's cool. And there's that road we went on right there right by the police station. And uh, that's neat. We are at the sign now. We were right over that sign right there where that little uh, motorcycle cop is on the, uh, the I mean, out of iron. But this is where we were seeing the police station we're next to and protecting travelers. A little information about it right here. Uh, it's home of the state troopers who risk their lives every day patrolling Route 66. And it's a gun shaped headquarters. Look at that. A little close up view there. So it's designed to be in the shape of a gun. That is awesome. I'm going to drive around back here and. Uh, <laughs> There's a real police officer here. How you doing, sir? And it's like in the shape of a gun here. <laughs> you can see it. We were not expecting a real police no. officer back there. <laughs> I thought it was like a fake guy in a car, but no, it was real. That's really cool. The old police station here. All right, we got some more Burma signs. Don't pass cars. A lot of cars coming. They're all passing us. I was going to get already. Yeah. Okay. Don't pass cars. On curve or a hill. If the cops don't get you, morticians will permeate you. All right, guys, we almost passed this one. So it says the Tawanda Route 66 Parkway stretches one mile in front of you and two and a half miles behind you. We're standing on the 1954 alignment of Route 66. The original 26 two lane route is behind us and the right just up at this road and Dead Man's Curve is that way. This was created by students and teachers from nearby Normal Community High School. And they have here on the ground this map that they have drawn with the starting point being over there in Chicago and our ending point being here in California. And here we have all of these signs. That is cool. That is cool guys. Gallup. I'm ready for Gallup. We're staying in a pretty cool and historic hotel there. All right, let's keep going. All right guys, I don't know if you can read these, but we got some more Burma signs. The Wolf. Ashamed. 
is shaved. So neat and trim. Red Riding Hood. It's chasing him. Burma shave! Burma shave! We are in normal Illinois now. There's a little sign about some information here. Lots of cool things to see coming up. There's the different routes right there. And we are there. Some more information here about normal in Bloomington. There's a sign here. A station and a home. Sprague's Super Service, which is right behind us. Opened in 1930 by William Sprague. This is the only two-story two Tudor revival station on Route 66. And here we go. Sprague's. That's really neat looking. And the Super Service sign right there. Route 66. Rivern Place. They have the two seater bicycle right there. And this place looks really neat. All these gas pumps here. There's a Sprock Super Service right there. Just another really neat little stop here. All right, just off Route 66 is our next stop here, Carl's Ice Cream. Really cool looking old building here. And guess what else is even better, y'all? Steph, can you guess? Uh, Muffler Man. The Muffler Man. <laughs> Show you real quick, here's the sign for Carl's. Cool ice cream cone right there. And there's the Muffler Man. That's really neat. Got the burger, the ice cream. That's really cool. This is our official second Muffler Man on Route 66 trip. How tall do you think he is? Probably at least Ooh, 20 feet. <laughs> Probably 20 feet tall, maybe? But yeah, he's wow. definitely shaking the wind. Look at the flag right next to it. Look how, how fast it's blowing there. <laughs> Alright, Muffler Man number two is down. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And another little stop, a home on the road, Dixie Truck Stop. And I believe the Dixie Truck Stop is actually across the street there. Um, but it says here, the McLean Depot is halfway between St. Louis and Chicago. It was a bustling railroad route. So that's pretty cool. The Lincoln Funeral Train. It's one of only two stations still standing in Illinois that witnessed the 1865 funeral train carrying President Abraham, Abraham Lincoln's coffin to Springfield, which we will see later today. So that's pretty cool. And they have these little uh, kind of things here. Um, no faces, but it's really cool. Oh, look, the next muffler man, the Bunyan statue oh, with the hot dog. he is cool <laughs> we're in downtown atlanta on route 66 we're 66 memory store there they're closed there's an atlanta museum there's the palms uh cafe the grill on route 66 and then coming over here is this cool sign here there's the palms grill cafe mural and look at this right here los angeles all the way down to Chicago and there's Atlanta where we are almost to St. Louis and then Atlanta Illinois cool sign right here and the Bunyan statue that's so awesome let me go over here and show you the information about it then we'll take a better look at the Bunyan Bunyan statue and it mentions the Gemini giant on here we've already seen that one there's a Lauterbach Tire Man. There's the Bunyan statue information right there. During the heyday of Route 66 Towers, past hundreds of signs, murals, other forms of roadside advertising, each hoping to grab its share of attention. One of the more famous of these to the fiberglass giants created by the 1960s by International Fiberglass of Venice, California. And look, there's where the Bunyan stood originally. That's really neat. We'll step back here. And take a look. It's a little bit of a sunny glare there. Let me see if I can 
walk over here and get a better shot without the sun for you. There we go. Bunyan with a hot dog. Our third muffler man. So this is so cool. All right, we're gonna get back on the road and see what we can find next. All right, guys, look at that. Right over, or right down the street actually from the last muffler man is this clock tower. Um, it's a historic marker. Let's see what they say. It's the library clock tower. It was housed in a 30 foot, 36 foot tall tower. It was originally located in the Atlanta High School, according to a May 29th, 1909 Atlanta Argus article. Wow. This place is pretty darn cool, yo. So tall. Go flag. And they have the Atlanta Park right over there. I mean, we're actually gonna walk across the street here and see what they have inside this little park. Atlanta Route 66 Park. Okay, so not very much. Let's see what this says. 1870 Atlanta Public School Stone. That's cool, I didn't even know this. 1870. And they have the Knights of Pisces Memorial Tree Stone. Little ticket office it says there. This is a field marker stone. It was moved in 2005 from its original location where it stood as a property line marker for a farm adjust adjacent to South Main Street. Pretty darn cool. Let's see. What does this over here say? Atlanta boomed when Route 66 was built in the 20s. But it didn't last. By 47, the road was rebuilt to bypass the town to the east. Well, wah, wah, wah. It's really cool. We have a cute little thing over there where you can put your little faces in. and Always love those. But, my camera guy is sitting in the car. Right there. Alright, let's get going here at the world's largest covered wagon. Look at this. Route 66 promised travelers fun and adventure along the road. The rail splitter covered wagon honors Abraham Lincoln the, in the only town named for him before he became president. That is really cool. Look at it. Ah! And Jeremy's gonna go check it out. Let's see. Look how big this thing is. It's huge. That's a big wagon. <laughs> hey, who's that driving that wagon? My friend Abe. Oh. Old Abe. Oh, Abe. Honest Abe. He's going to take you on the right route to go. I want to see him close without the sun. <laughs> Look at that. It's huge. Look how big those wheels are. Jeez, Louise. Let's go see old Abe from the front. The sun's a little bright, but there's Honest Abe reading the book. Sun is very bright. I hope you guys can see. Look at him up there. Hey, Abe. Hello. <laughs> and what's that behind right there, dear? <laughs> it looks like an old hotel, but it's actually a casino with four dollar slots. <laughs> Zoom in. Yeah, we've been seeing a bunch of these little casinos all around, like in gas stations. It's really cool. Um, we haven't gone in any. We're waiting for Vegas. Vegas, but. This is so cool, y'all. I want to see. There's something on the benches over here. I want to see what that says. You have these little benches. Oh, I'm backwards. Let's go around this way. Presented. Oh, I don't think you can read that. To Abraham Lincoln Tourism Bureau of Logan County. By Logan oh, County cool. Mounted Police. That's Mounted Police. Name. Cool. Well, there's the world's largest. Covered wagon. Covered wagon. Yeah. If you hadn't seen it, well, now you have.
All right, everybody, we were diddy bopping down 66. And here we're here at Elkhart, <laughs> Illinois. And uh, so the first sign here is Chicago to Santa Monica right there. That's it's neat. And then, the old cars. oh yeah, the all old cars. And so this is the downtown area that we're in right now. To our left is the downtown area. I'll show you a quick shot of that. Uh, and there's the big plant up there. Welcome to Elkhart. And there's this Amish little buggy right there too. Above the, that uh, building right there. Yeah. Some old houses, looks like some grain or some corn. Hot air balloon. And just to show you how long this mural, I know it's walking on longer right now, but it's a long painting mural, pretty cool. And then here's the uh, Elkhart downtown little area. So it's a small little square, but it's it's cute. It's neat. Oh, Steph. Oh, everybody. <laughs> oh, uh, we did not honestly know this was here before. And whoever's in these buildings is probably hearing me yell right now. They're probably wondering, like, what are those tourists doing from the south up here? <laughs> Open 7 Up sign. That's cool. That's not what we're going to see. All these buildings right now are pretty much closed. A few looks like they're open. But look, Ronald McDonald, what are you doing here? <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> I had to run over here to see this. What do you want to see, Steph? Oh, I wanted to go over there, but here, let me <laughs> take. All right, we're going to cut for one second, get some photos of Ronald, and then we'll show you one more part of this town real quick. All right, we're walking across here. This is a memorial here for World War II. Look at multiple wars. Neat statue there for Elkhart community people who served in the World War II, Korean War, and the Vietnam War. That's really neat. There's a lot of the names here. And on the back side, here's some more information here. Dedicated to all the veterans of the armed forces. That's really nice. And then a little more information over here. Honor roll. And I'll turn around here and show you the park real quick. <laughs> and this is nice here. Army and the Marines. I got the Air Force, all the departments, Navy, Coast Guard, everything out here. Army National Guard. That's really nice. Yeah, this is really cool. There's the flags, a tatter flag disposal right there. If you're watching, you've served in the military, definitely thank you for your service. Uh, nobody can ever thank you enough for what y'all have done, but well, the least we can do is tell you thank you for your service. This is a really neat little area right here. All these flags around the town. This is pretty cool. I love it. And down there a little bit, that green Jeep. It's like a military color, kind of green with a little uh, military uh, star on the side of it. You can barely see it from here, but that's neat. Cool town. All right, bye, Ronald. Bye, Ronald. Bye, stop clowning around. Yeah, stop clowning around in see Elkhart. Next, see you next time. <laughs> All right, we're gonna hit the road again. We're in Lincoln now, and look, New York, Tokyo, 6,352 miles, Beijing, uh, 10,000 plus kilometers, Prague. And coming over here, oops, sorry about that. It's a little rough to walk on these rocks. Rome, Paris, Amsterdam, London, Los Angeles, Berlin. That's really neat. Los Angeles is 1,629 miles from here. It's a cool little sign. We came across the old station, Route 66. This is a cool gas station right here. Classic car there, look at the old pumps. The big Texaco sign there. Illinois, or Illinois, Route 66. I said that wrong a million times by now. And look at these old signs, Standard Oil, Mobile Gas. They got the Sinclair Dinosaur. Sinclair Dinosaur. And there's the old Coke sign. Look at this, the old telephone sign. Bell System uh, Public Telephone. And then the big Texaco sign there as well. That's really neat. Look at the Sinclair Dinosaur. <laughs> I like that. All right, another stop here on the Mother Road. It says the Williamsville Depot. It's a cool building here. And 
the golden years doing business on main street highway traffic was lifeblood for family businesses on america's main street route 66 linked town, farm towns like williamsville with the nation and brought travelers seeking food and fuel in good times americans took jaunts for kicks in world war ii and the great depression was driven by the troops and job seekers this on route 66 was always good that's cool A little information here about the railroad and then over here there's a little museum here it's not currently open there's a Route 66 sign there and it's got the museum here with that old train bell there too or bell That's really neat. And look back at the building we just came from. Got the old silos back there. That's that's cool. Lincoln's tomb now. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. It's a huge cemetery. And then the tomb is right here in the middle, it looked like. Welcome to Lincoln Tomb here in the heart of our country on the edge of the city. He called home in the final resting place of President Abraham Lincoln, his wife, and three of their children. Built with donations throughout the United States, Lincoln Tomb honors the memory of our nation's greatest president and those who struggled uh, with him toward a new birth of freedom. All right, we're going to head up the path here to Lincoln's Tomb. That house there. Wow. There's Lincoln's Tomb. This is a beautiful monument. There's Lincoln there in the middle and the statue and or the big monument. And there's Lincoln's nose you can press or touch for good luck. And we think the tomb is closed for the day. We still want to come up here and Take a look at it. Yeah, the door is shut, so it's closed for the day. So we sadly can't go inside, but wow. That is amazing. I'll zoom in a little bit here. Wow. And here's the Abraham Lincoln's head out here in this, the sculpture. This is the original in the uh, Hall of Fame in Washington, D.C. Yep. Tomb right there behind it. And everybody loves his nose. Yep. So. Oh gosh, I'm too short. Hold on. Okay, ready? Right. Yep. Good luck Look, rubbing the nose. Look, there's a bunch of people with pennies and pennies. there. Pennies That's really neat. Okay, you have to do it, Jerry. All right, I'm going to switch around here. Ready? Get it. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, good <laughs> luck. Yeah. I'm kind of bummed that we can't go in. Um, but, like I said, we're trying to cram all this into five days, so it's hard to get to every place. Everybody. Yeah, it's when they're not. Tomb, it's so beautiful. Yeah, it is. All right. You getting some more luck? <laughs> get a little extra for our leave. <laughs> all right. Let's head on out of here. All right, we're here outside of the main right. It's the first and fastest drive through in the nation, it says. Unfortunately, they closed at two, but our next stop is going to be, what is it, Jeremy? Cozy Dogs. Yes, we're finally going to have lunch at <laughs> 5.52 p.m. <laughs> well, you got a lot of snacks along the way. Yeah. The Cozy Dogs, next yep. one up. All right. All right, we're here at Cozy Dogs now, and we're outside Cozy Dogs. We'll show you the building here in one second. This is the next part of the map right here. Uh, so we're up on the Route 66, Illinois. And all that information there. We've seen the Gemini Man, with the covered wagon we've seen, uh, the Palms Cafe, all that. So we are right here in Springfield. And we're going down here to St. Louis right here. So just a little bit more to go tonight. 
and we started way up there in Chicago. So we're going there all the way down to there. And since we're only doing this in five days, um, we're going to kind of go quickly and just go through the drive through So there's Cozy Dogs there. Looking forward to it. Cozy Dog Drive-In, better than Corn Dogs. This is a really neat little stop here. So better look at the Cozy Dog building here. Got the little Cozy Dog there in the front, the food sign. This is just a really neat building here. Roadside attraction. Oh, the sun's over here. Sorry if that's bright. And then Cozy Dog Drive in Springfield, Illinois. Right there. And here's the sign for it right here. Historic Route 66, Illinois. That's only really Abe Lincoln right there. Just gonna walk past the front here. There's a little bit of a look inside. There's a lot of people sent the windows right here, so don't want to show them all directly. Alrighty. Time to get some cozy dogs. Okay, we're back to our car eating cozy dogs. Shenanigans. <laughs> but yes, he has his cozy dog. Cozy we're back dog. on the road. Try to buy this real quick. It's really hot. I don't know if it's gonna burn your mouth or not. Oh, it's really hot, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> that is good. So it's like the first corn dog, basically, right? Yeah, it's different though. It doesn't have that corn taste to it. It's a. Uh, it's a. Uh, Oh, it's more like a, like a batter. I don't know, it's like a hush puppy batter, maybe, or something. Uh, yeah. Not bad, though. I prefer a corn dog, I think, better, but it's pretty good. So, get your cozy dog for sure. All right, we're here at Lauterbach Tires Auto and Service, and our next muffler man. Oh, this is so cool. These muffler men are amazing to see. All right, we're going to hit the road and see what we can find next, but one more muffler man checked off the list now. We're out here on Snell by or by Snell Road and Route 66 is bricks right through here. This is the old brick Route 66 road. Look at that. I was like it's just a part of it, but this is really cool to see the old brick tracks here. And we're about to go drive on the bricks. This is exciting. There's Stephanie waving the car at us. A little bit of sun glare but if y'all can see it you know, we got some other shots we're putting up there we're on the brick road the original brick road Steph. Awesome. <laughs> yes the this original is, uh, mother road yes the original mother brick road that is so cool i don't know if you guys can tell but look how small these lanes are All right, we're out here kind of in the middle of nowhere, it seems like. This is the Route 66 road right here. You can see a little bit of the sign right there on the road painted. And we're, you ready, Steph? Yeah. At the turkey tracks. The turkey tracks. Man, we almost ran out of danger. <laughs> I know, look at this. The sun is setting, sun is setting. on Route 66 right now. Look at this turkey. There's the turkey. <laughs> There's the sign. And look at this. The turkey tracks right here. These are the original turkey tracks when they were paving this road, from my understanding. And then you have your 66 shield. Yeah, there's another okay. shield right here. And we'll turn it around again so you can see this one right there. And then, yeah, we have the turkey tracks right there. That is cool. Yeah, this is awesome. Turkey tracks. That's so cool. All right, Mr. Turkey, thanks for crossing the road. Gobble, gobble. <laughs> See you in, uh, you know, November. Just kidding. Just kidding. We're at the turkey tracks now. I know we just showed you those turkey tracks. That's really cool. Yeah. And it's just a special moment out here. Look at this. Sun setting. Maybe a little hard to see, but sun setting it's on so Route 66. Pretty. Yay. 
It's so beautiful out here. This has been an amazing day. I know we're doing this in like five, five, five and a half-ish days. Mm -hmm. So it's a packed day. We're running out of daylight. We're doing as much as we can. But we're still going to show you some more things tonight. Yeah, we're going to get a couple more things in and then go into St. Louis and then uh, hit the mother road again tomorrow. That's so, right. uh, yeah, let's continue on this, this journey. It's been awesome so far. Yeah, it has been a lot of fun. All righty. <laughs> oh, we made it to our hotel. Yep. It's nothing special. We're not going to show it to you. Um, it's no Walter for Story tonight. It's not. Uh, so, yeah, we... Just picked the hotel in St. Louis close to the Arch. Uh, so yeah, it was a long day. We did everything <laughs> except for one thing on our list, which mm -hmm. we did go by the... Uh, um, it was Henry's Rabbit Ranch. Ranch, and we did go by there. We were able to see it, but by the time we got there, it was so dark, we couldn't record yeah. it because you guys wouldn't have been able to see very much. See so it, yeah. We did that, and then we came straight to St. Louis from there. Yep, just took Route 66 yeah. down, and we're in St. Louis now. Uh, so hopefully tomorrow we'll start out with the Arch and then head down to uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma next, yeah. where we'll be staying. And um, Yeah, so we saw yeah. a lot of really cool stuff today. Yeah, a lot a of lot stuff. Because really when we have cool five stuff. and a half days, it was a long journey today, but well worth yeah. it. Uh, yeah. We got to see so much today. The, the Al Capone play starting off. Um, <laughs> All the we, Blues Brothers stuff. We met a bunch of really nice people yeah. at the museums and the welcome centers and the um texaco the M M M oh no. my gosh i can't remember <laughs> uh, one of the gas stations we went to it was amazing he ambrose had... ambrose is it i don't think oh, so or is it... actually i have a cheat list back here hold <laughs> on i'll tell you what it is uh well stephanie looks that up yeah it, it's uh there's so many great things i can't remember everything that we did today we did so much uh but just driving to the, the, the route 66 on the roads was fun driving to the back rows uh it's on the front page. Oh my gosh. Ambler's Texaco Ambler's gas Texaco. station. Jack. <laughs> Jack was there. So it was actually closed. closed. And Jack, I just, I guess, got there for something else. Yeah, he's a volunteer at the gas station. And he had just gotten there and he said, it's actually closed, but I'll give you a tour. So you guys will see that. Yeah. Well, you've already seen that. <laughs> yeah. In this video. He was super nice. And then, mm -hmm. uh, I'll be, uh, yeah. Yeah, so this is part two. Part, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is part two. Uh, and then Turkey Tracks! Turkey Tracks was really yeah. cool. Um, some of these places, man, you're really out there. Yeah. And there is not much around. So mm -hmm. it gets kind of, I don't want to say creepy, but it's weird. And it may sound weird, but the two favorite parts are kind of towards the end today the Turkey Tracks and mm -hmm. for me, the uh, Brick Road. That was really neat driving the Brick Road. And then we got to see uh, Sunset out on Route 66 in the middle. Of, uh, kind of yeah. reminds of like Texas. Or Arizona, where it's so flat out there. Yeah. Uh, but there's just so much to yeah. see. And again, uh, like, this is our version. We're only doing this in five days. There are some things that we know we didn't see that we've mm -hmm. seen lots of other people do. Um, but we'll get to this. We're going to do this again. This isn't going to be it. We're having yeah. so much fun. We're going to do this again. Yeah, at some point, we'll probably take 20 yeah. days and maybe do a longer trip. Don't know when that'll be. Sure. It won't be this year. It won't be next year. That but down the road, we'll definitely do that. <laughs> yeah. uh, right now, the five and a half days are like, we're knocking it out. We're going to be tired at the end, but it's it's going to be well worth it. So yeah. um, be we'll sure. Rest, we'll rest in Vegas, right? There's no rest in Vegas. Uh, the slot machine's calling me. <laughs> uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Hope yeah. you enjoy our vlogs. This is something new for us. Uh, we do more video types than just like daily vlogs. So we're trying to mix in some daily vlogs on our trips as we go around. Uh, we're still trying to mix in some full tours. Like we'll have the Waldorf Astoria Hotel tour up. Uh, and then as we get to some of the other hotels we stay at, we'll have those up. Uh, but yeah, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and uh, thanks for joining us on the Mother Road today, and we'll see you tomorrow to continue on our journey together. All right. Good night, everybody. Bye.